Okay, now it's time to tie all of this together and talk about if and if else statements. If statements are very powerful, you're gonna use them all the time, not just for PHP, any programming you ever do, you're gonna use if and if else statements. So let's create some variables. I'm just gonna call this A equals one, B equals nine, and C equals four, whatever. So this is the structure of an if statement. You start out with, the word if something is true, do something. So this is the basic structure and oftentimes it'll look like this, right? So if, and this is the thing we're evaluating, if it's true, we do this. If it's not true, we don't do anything. Let's make one of these real. If A is equal to C echo A is equal to C semicolon. And so let's go ahead and delete this because that'll throw an error. And let's save this. Now, if we come back here and run our program, nothing happens. If we view our page source, there's nothing going on in here. Why is that? Well, if A equals C, we print this thing out. Well, A is one and C is four, so there's nothing to print. So if we changed A to four and save this, now four is equal to C. Let's hit reload. A is equal to C. Or we can, we can get cute with this and we can type in a concatenate it is equal to concatenate that c save this 4 is equal to 4 all right so that's your basic if statement and this is just to determine one thing. If A equals C, do this. What if A is not equal to C and we want to do something else? Well, we can do that with an if else statement. If this, do this. Otherwise, do that. Else, do that. If else. So same basic structure, just at the end we type in else and a little opening curly bracket and then a closing bracket and anything within these two brackets will get executed if it's false. So let's just copy this line and type in not equal. And let's save this and if we hit reload, nothing happens because four is equal to four. But if we change this back to what it used to be and save it, one is not equal to four, which is what we think should happen. So let's look at this real quick here. Not sure why that capitalized, but okay. Usually it's lowercase. So if A equals C, do this, otherwise do that. And if this is confusing with the variables, we can use numbers one and four, because A is one. So if one is equal to four, type this, otherwise do this. Well, A is not equal to four, obviously, so if we save this, reload, one is not equal to four, right? So if you remember, was it the last video or a couple of videos ago, we talked about comparison operators. That was the is equal to, is not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than and equal to. And that this is where you're gonna be using those things quite a, quite a bit. So we can put, not equal to. If one is not equal to four, do this, otherwise do that. Let's save this. One is equal to four because we haven't changed it here. Let's change this not equal to four. Okay, so if we hit reload, one is not equal to four, which makes sense. So here we're, we're checking to see if this is not equal to that. Likewise, we could do greater than if one is greater than four, greater than, oops, K 
caps lock less than or say not <laughs> greater than so let's save this one is not greater than four and that's true similarly we can do less than change that Hit reload one is less than four that's true right what else we got less than equal to greater than greater than or equal to greater than or equal to is not greater than or equal to save this one is not greater than or equal to four that's true let's change this change them both to one oops change these guys to one save it one is greater than or equal to need to change it up here too. One is greater than or equal to one. So you see how these things work. Very simple. Finally, the less than or equal to. And I won't run that because you get the picture by now. So this is very important for you to learn. This is basic PHP, but this if else logic, I guess you would call it, is just very very important that you know you wrap your head around this because we're going to be using this a lot there's a lot of times where especially for like web web development web apps and things like if a person logs into your website right and you want to know if that person is logged in or not on any given web page well you would run this if user logged in do this otherwise do that you know so that's sort of a a basic thing you're going to be doing a lot of and there's other things like that where you want to test to see whether a thing is true or not. So you'll use if else statements with your comparison operators. So very important, very fundamental, not just for PHP, but any programming you ever do using any programming language. You're always going to be using these if else statements. Uh, the structure might look a little bit different. You know, PHP uses curly brackets, Python uses colons. You know, every every programming language handles these a little bit differently, but the structure, the if-else structure is pretty much the same all the way across the board. So that's if-else statements, and that's all for this video. And if you want to get my entire PHP course absolutely free, head over to codemy.com slash free PHP. That's codemy.com slash free PHP.